Hello, everybody, and welcome to Shenanigans. Uh, we have a good game for you. I'm Koibu. I'm going to be your DM. This is James and Brian, and they are respectively playing Ziggy and Riley. Yes, we're mixing mm. up the intros and trying something new this year. Mm. Uh, so why don't we hop into game and uh, figure out what's going on, and we'll figure out who our characters are along the way. So our player, well, this is not the way. Our players are going to be starting off in shenanigans today. The tavern at the center of Berkshire, this uh, small little town out in the woods, kind of rural Drekus area. Not much going on, but it is run by Desmond the Dashing, a uh, former retired adventurer, you could call him, of great fame and renown, power, glory, money, wealth. But now he's retired because he's got a wife and a kid and he can't go out and do these things because he's got to stay a responsible dad. Uh, and so here you guys are in his tavern to probably cause chaos that he wishes he could in his place. Pop up some tavern music and figure out where the hell you guys are sitting. Where are you guys, little tiny Ziggy? So you're playing a waiter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Irresponsible adventurers. Yeah, that's about, that's appropriate. You're muted. Oh my God. How are you guys muted? Why would you be muted here? How did that one overlay get muted, but all the other ones are unmuted? That's ridiculous, but it's fixed now. All right, all right. So did they hear me at all plug my no. mod or no? Uh, oh, no, the mod, yes, but this, no. Right. <laughs> all right, well, um, yeah, Ziggy's just running around serving tables until an adventure calls and he'll be irresponsible and abandon his duties. He's a little kobold. He, since his last adventure, failed in recruiting any goblins. He told Desmond he'd work at the bar for a little. OK. okay. So you're working at the bar. Riley, what are you up to? I'm just running back and forth. Um, I think I'm getting some uh, some customer feedback right now. I think I'm uh, going around uh, talking to people, figuring out uh, what kind of food they like. Um, how does it make it? How does it make them feel? Right? Like I'm, I probably found found somebody with a with a drink, and I, I'm asking like, what's if you had like a like a fruit? What would you say that this drink tastes like? It feels like not tastes like, but fe but feels like. If this drink were a fruit, what would it feel like? Yes. Mm, um, it would feel like a... Oh, that's a hard question. Says the human warrior sitting before you at a table, scratching his face. Uh, well, does well, it have to be a fruit? Or can it be like any food? It could be... How about a color? Oh... It, what kind of color would this feel like? Chartreuse. Hmm. Okay, I, yeah, I, I yeah. write, I write that down. I've, I've got like a notebook out. I just, I write that down. Mm-hmm. Cause you know, it gets you a little, like a good sickly, you know, like this is my eighth drink. I'm a little concerned I'm about to puke everywhere. But I'm still enjoying myself, so it gets that like you know chartreusey color. If you had a drink that didn't make you drunk, would you drink it? Then you wouldn't throw up. You 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 uh. I, I feel like you laid out a customer problem there about uh, throwing up uh, due to being too too drunk. Could, yeah. Could this, be, could this be solved? Yeah, you can make an alcohol where you don't feel like throwing up if you drink too much of it. That sounds great. I would buy that any day. Actually, I would prefer that drink above all others. That's good. Okay. Okay, cool. And I just do that. I'm just going around talking to customers. Getting customer feedback and satisfaction reports. Mm -hmm. mm, excellent. You want a food? Do you want a drink? Uh, yeah. People will take some orders. They, they, it seems that the baked potato, not baked potatoes, the borscht mashed potatoes are especially popular because he grills some onions and then he put grills some onions with green beans and then puts the grilled onions and the remaining like onion juice into the mashed potatoes before he mashes them. 
Mm. Mm, that's some uh, prime food right there. Highly popular among this crowd. Mm. You want anything, Raleigh? Uh, I'm gonna have a. Could you get like three different drinks, but like uh, very, very small glasses, and then like and then like mix them up. Uh, uh okay. okay. That's this one. He, he want. He's asked three different drinks that are there's one drink but in different glasses. Little shot glass. What? I, I don't, I, that one order three shots. And give him three shots. Well, I'm. Um, you're the. But. Oh my god, I have to do everything hand. for you. All right, all right, all right. He will pour you a couple of drinks. And Would hand you them trust that Kaibo just pour a drink? <laughs> Probably not, but you know, Desmond is not what we would call the most um, clear-headed of people. You know, he may wish for a solution, and then when it get, happens, realize that it was not the solution he truly wanted in his heart of hearts. He was just simply lazy and wanting someone else to take responsibility for him. It's a common problem in the world. Desmond, if anything, is a common man. Yeah. Well, I'll give you three shots, which actually are the same drink. Sorry. <laughs> All right. <laughs> How full is it today? Uh, the bar is 30% capacity. It's not oh, particularly been... heavy. It's kind of a, a lightish day going on. Right. Um, when in through the door, oops, where's my D6? Uh, walks a, a, you know, a woman, early early 30s, maybe late 20s, something like that. Uh, hair that comes down to about mid-back that's uh, pulled back and tied back in a few different places, you can see, because it swishes as she hastily walks in, um, comes up to the bar and begins pleading with Desmond. At first, you can't really hear what she's saying over the sound of the other people and the, you know, the drinks going back and forth and the customer interviews that you're having. Mm -hmm. But soon the conversation rises to a pitch and you can hear that she is pleading with him, begging him to undertake this mission for her. And he's doing the, the same old, no, no, sorry, I'm retired. And she says, gives him the old, you're the only one. I can't trust any of these people. They're not strong enough to tackle this issue. Please, we need Desmond to salt. And he does the whole no, no, no. Uh, maybe the, that those two over there, they seem, they're great. You know, that one, uh, you know, actually, maybe not. Um, hmm, hmm. He looks around, judging the situation. It's an idea, and he calls Riley over. Uh, Riley, oh. Riley, maybe hey, you could, yeah. uh, maybe we could use your help over here, buddy. Absolutely, I'm always willing to help. And mm -hmm. I walk up. Uh, this woman's got a problem, and oh. I can't help her solve it. And she's looking for a middleman to help her find the person to help her solve her problem. And I thought you would be that perfect middleman. Absolutely. That's uh, I've got a lot of experience doing that. Um, just helping. Um, I don't really do much stuff myself, but I, I help. I uh, I help people uh, help the individual contributors kind of complete tasks. I think I could make this this uh, problem more efficiently solved. See, that's why you come to shenanigans. He pats her on the shoulder and uh, pointedly walks out through the kitchen and into the backyard to catch a breath of fresh air and leave this problem to you. So the woman in question, he completely ignores the kobold as he walks by. Not even a look your way or an acknowledgement that you exist. Yes. Um, the woman turns to you, she's a little surprised. Looks around the room and, well, I guess you're the one then. I need you to help me. What do you need help with? My grandmother has been consumed by a demon and is about to ravage the village that I'm from with her dark twisted magics. And I want to drive the demon out without killing grandma. But uh, you said the woman was con was consumed, so we need by the demon, so she's inside the demon or she's- Consumed, oh, no, oh. no, the demon's in her. In it's, her. Yeah, consumed oh, I'm, her, I'm her soul. I cleric, I can do exorcism. You you can? You have you have uh, relevant skills to this to this issue? Yeah, level one skills. Yeah, yeah. 
I'm sorry, I don't really trust a kobold with saving my grandmother and my village. You're I right. just don't You're think silly. any kobold has ever been able to amass that amount of power. You're right, that's that's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's, that is a little bit ridiculous, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah but more power than you have. Well, we'll, we'll see, maybe. What? Wait, so wait, where where is your... So she's a demon inside of her. That's an interesting mm -hmm. medical melody. Yeah, yeah, the demon possessed people. You drive demon away with exorcism. Hmm. Uh, and then where, so I'm just trying to figure out the, the product requirements for your issue here. Um, so, uh, issue one, you need to stop this, this demon from ravaging the countryside, but then uh -huh. you've got a secondary requirement of making sure, uh, that this person is not harmed too much. Uh, yeah, yeah, you could say that, I suppose. Ooh, that's dangerous. Most people die when they get demoned. is wielding these magics and she's kind of glazing people over and their eyes are rolling back and all you know their faces are going kind of strange like and it's just it's getting really chaotic over there hmm have you I'm... do you know anything about how this person got possessed by this demon that's why i was seeking out the great and mighty desmond Hmm. Do we do well, we need to know how it? A... Oh, go ahead. Yes. Oh, I'm just I'm just uh, kind of trying to investigate the issue to to figure out what would be the best way of, of solving the issue. I guess where is your your town? Maybe I could go gather more information uh, and find uh, people to help you out with this. Uh, okay. I suppose we live about um, you know, halfway to Kershwick. Off of the off the main road, small little village out in the woods. Um, it's kind of you know an urgent matter. I was hoping to just grab a person and go back and fix it right now. Do we really have a? It'll take like a day to get there and a day to get back here. And I don't know if I, the whole town's uh -huh. gonna have eaten each other by then or not. It's a high priority issue. Okay, yeah, I guess we could do we, we could kind of kind of hack something out uh, and and uh, fix. Met metaphorically hack something out. We're not going to okay. hack oh, anybody oh. out. Yeah. I was so, concerned yeah. you were going to hack out my grandmother's heart there. No, no I, I don't have axe. No axe? Okay. That's probably but good. Said... Yeah. Should keep weapons out of the hands of kobolds, I think. I, I actually was in favor oh, of the fear. kobolds arms amendment. It's unfortunate <gasps> it didn't pass. You can't enforce that. Free weapons for all. Free weapons for all? You want to get the government to subsidize weapons for every man, woman, child, and kobold in the country? I don't uh, think so. Uh, My vote is to keep wolves. weapons out of the hands of kobolds, but <gasps> government's going to do what government's going to do. Freedom for weapons for all, not free weapons for all. Freedom for weapons for all. Free, just, <laughs> I, so, okay, free free as in beer or free as in freedom? What, what, do, you, what do you mean? Uh, I mean that everyone should be allowed to buy weapon if they buy weapon. If they don't buy weapon, they don't have weapon. Got it, got it, okay. Or they just pick up stick and then they've got weapon. And you hit people with stick and then you got weapon that was not, which was free. You go, here's stick, bang, I hit you with stick. That means you got free weapon. You know, I, th I think we're getting a little, a little sidetracked here. We could, we could, so this this is an important issue here though, but well, let's uh, let's, let's set up a meeting to, to talk about that that uh, that later after we're, we're done with this more more pressing issue. Okay. So how do I find someone to free my grandmother from this demon if Desmond won't do it? And I assume his wife won't do it either. How do we, how does one find great heroes in a time of desperate need? You go to shenanigans. I hear their ventures there. He looks around the, you know, only 30% full tavern. There's like the fighter who's getting up who you were talking to earlier who's like super drunk and sure enough he stumbles forward, hits a chair awkwardly and just projectile vomits across the room. She looks over towards the staircase where there's a pack of like drunk gnomes trying to put some sort of like mechanical table. It's like a lazy Susan except the whole tabletop moves so everyone can like serve themselves for food and then sample what everyone else has but there's like a gear mechanic problem with it and things are just falling off the table and it's kind of crooked and wobbly. 
she looks to like the table of highly refined elves and like begins to consider that they might be the right sort of thing to happen until you see someone's face turn slightly and it's just like an elf mask that only looks like an elf if you look at it straight on but as soon as they turn to the side you see it's actually just like a couple of young boys and girls playing with like must be semi mad probably magical masks that they're wearing that only change the face when you look in a certain direction <laughs> and looks back to the two of you guys looks out the room went door to desmond who's just like stretching in the yard Borsh is like farting at the same time as he's cooking food. Is this really I, I, the place where great adventurers are found? I kind I of thought this you. was like, you know, a mecca for, for heroism, but it just seems like it's a bunch of degenerates lying around. This is really a lower class tavern, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I would say finding good talent, I would say requires a, a good... Uh, uh, kind of compensation, right? Because people who are who have uh, in-demand skills um, often have a lot of options, a lot of things that they can do. So they kind of need to be paid kind of market rate to uh, to, to do for the appropriate missions. You have, do you have a budget for this? I would do anything. I would I would gladly pledge my allegiance for my entire life to someone if they could fix this problem. And I think my life is worth a lot. Okay. Uh, wait, so, okay. You, Cole, Cole, what was your, what was your name again, Cole? Ziggy, 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 Ziggy. Ziggy, Ziggy, okay. Um, so, I know that, uh, you know, maybe, maybe, uh, uh, strong power and, and talent can come from kind of unexpected, uh, places. Uh, particularly, it might be possible to, to get, I guess, people who have high skills from kind of, like, under, kind of, represented, uh, groups that aren't really considered by by other other people more. You you said you said that you you were were a cleric. Do you think you could demonstrate mm. this? Like, do you think that to do like a like a clerical exorcism well, uh, interview here? Well, uh, I only get four spells per day, but I got an encounter power called Turn Undead. If there's an undead, I could cast that. Is there. Well, mm. you don't even waste one of my four spells a day on this. Well, I mean, this is a pretty important. What I mean, it's a day to get there, a day to get back. You could, you could, you could. I'm pretty sure we'll get there on the same day. Wait, how how far away is this? It's halfway to Kershwick, so um, that means it'll, it'll, we'll get there when it's dark in the evening, and they'll be scary, and there'll be some atmospheric stuff, I'm sure. Okay, then tell me. We don't have to do a practical examination. Just just give me <laughs> give me some some knowledge. Can you tell me something about your your, your god that only uh. Uh, oh, yeah. A yeah, count yeah. cleric would now. Oh, yeah. Okay. My god is a gepper, god of the hunt. And uh, I hunt things. Like a gepper helped me hunt down a wino once. Really? Yeah. Mm. Don't check it, but it, that really happened. Uh, I, uh, yeah. Because I mean, little me and a big wino, I, who's going to win? I win because of a gepper's power. Mm, yeah, okay. I guess. Guess you're, you're right. I'm not. I'm not. I don't know much about clerics, but that that does sound like something a cleric would say. Yeah, yeah, because I, I, I'm, my god is god of hunt, and god I'm best hunter. And be best hunter, you're right. Hmm. Wait, I know something only a cleric would have. Show what? me your holy symbol. Oh, here, here's my symbol of a gepper. Is it? Do I do I know anything? Or I guess what would well, ask religion because it's a ask. pretty obscure god. Yeah, okay. uh, I guess the god of the hunt. He's well known among the lower classes, or maybe the higher classes who like to, you know, hunt for sport. Um, but doesn't have a lot of application to people who are fed by other means. Mm. What does what your holy holy symbol look like? Yeah. I Let's see. I had it a second ago. Uh, it's a bow. It's a drawn bow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then. yeah it, it's on this page. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I think that's good enough. I think you could be hired on as a as a contractor. I'm not sure if I'm really wet ready to, to kind of work with you 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 full time, but I think I think okay. you might be able to uh, demonstrate your skills in the in the future here. Yeah, yeah, test. Yeah, yeah. 
The woman okay. looks concerned. Hey, we're Is this how things questions? get done in this day and age? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Things get done in this day and age, yes. yes. Uh, you know, I, I would, I, I agree, but um, this sounds like a high priority issue. If, if I were to, uh, to try to find more qualified applicants for the position, I'm, I'm worried that we would no longer be able to solve solve kind of this this uh, this issue because of how pri high priority it is. I see. Well, what? Maybe we can convince Desmond to do it then, because he's great and he's here. How would we Desmond, convince him to do Desmond it? Desmond retired. You, even Queen couldn't hire Desmond. Queen said, "Desmond, do quest," and he says, "No, retired." I mean, everyone comes out of retirement at least once in a while to do something. He, the Queen ask, and he say no. Well, maybe we maybe he doesn't like her. Maybe there's something that he's got that we could pl pry, play on, pry on, prey on. Uh, no. Well, you are the expert in prayer, though. Are you sure? <laughs> maybe, maybe you, you do. Sometimes it's called false prayer. Like, I pray for million uh, gold. You're not going to get million gold. But if we do offer him something, right? If he, we could do, we could do some sort of a, a trick. He is, he is the expert, right? He is probably the most qualified person in in the room, and so we could at least negotiate with him to see what if there's well, anything you would want. Okay. Good luck. Um. All right. I guess. Uh, I I go to go to Desmond. Mm hmm. Uh. So, so Devin, De Des Desmond, I, I have a, I have a, a, a proposition for you, or, or, or a business arrangement. I'm, I'm wondering, would there be this, this lady here does seem to have a, a bit of a, a, a demon problem, and I'm wondering uh -huh. if you, you have any way of, of uh, helping solve, solve this issue in exchange for any, any services or any, any other missions or problems you, you might need solved. Did you just soft ask me to go on this job for her? Uh, I only in exchange for for uh, maybe maybe problems you need done maybe around the, the tavern here. Well, as uh, you well know, I'm, I'm very retired. Very retired. Yeah, I only really get involved in problems that threaten me and my family specifically. But if you want to talk about what you can do for me, well, we need to replace the second floor of shenanigans. It's broken. It's broken beyond repair. <gasps> it needs a complete overhaul. We need to re just rebuild the, the whole second floor, rearrange the rooms, make sense of the whole thing, you know, mm. get a really good architectural plan, design the building properly. Mm. That's, we could work on that, but we, this, this lady has, has a more, more is that, how high priority is that? Is that, that doesn't need to be done tomorrow. We, we've got a, a, a bigger problem here with a, a possibly a, a demon invasion, maybe a demon invasion. She, uh, I, I mean, Aridon's already got one of those, right? This, that's already <laughs> a common problem. And as for the tavern, you know, it's about everything is high priority. If you put it off till tomorrow, you'll never get it done because tomorrow never comes. If you want to do something, you have to do it now. You have to do it in the moment. If you're not actively doing it, you'll never get it done. So do we need to highly prioritize the second story of shenanigans? Absolutely. The highest priority possible. All right, well, I'll have, to, I'll have to consult with my uh, head of uh, clerical studies over here. You know, the real yeah, problem this, is this that if we close is shenanigans for repairs, my wife and I will have to go somewhere else and do something else for a while. You know, we mm. have to go on like a vacation because I you know, clearly I can't sit around while someone else Bill works on my bar. I'll just get angry and smack him upside the head. It'll get violent. I, I can't be around when people work on my, my stuff for me. I just can't see it. Ah, so you said you were in in retirement, but mm -hmm. I guess are you looking for any um, 
maybe exciting vacations, right? Where where kind of uh, uh, kind of group activities that uh, yeah, that sounds great. Family. Exciting yeah. vacation, group activities like a you know taking a, a, a raft down a river with my best friend, my wife, and my my daughter. Yeah. Indeed. Sounds indeed. Great. What about, yeah. What about things more active, right? Like you could you could take a a raft down to a a city that just happens to have like like a demon invasion going on. Um, that uh, I I mean just. I think if I sorry. tried to sell that plan to Lizzie, as fun as it sounds to me, she would say that's not a great environment in which to raise a child. You know. So. I mean, I can't help it if the demons come to me and well, I have to fight surprise, them off. Right? There's no, there's no, there's, uh, that, that's the the best kind of excitement. Oh, uh, go to uh, Kurt, say, say you're on way to Kershwick Beach, and then on the way, uh-oh, this town has demons. Oh. So you just accidentally come across the quest, but you don't tell anyone beforehand. I mean, if it's avoidable, we'll find a way to avoid it, you know? Can, yeah, yeah. You know, like last couple months ago, a uh, a gateway opened up in my floor of my living room. <gasps> had to fight the monsters in it. Had to go to the other side of the play, you know, the other side of the gate to break it so it would fall apart. So that way, you know, we you know wouldn't open up again. Didn't really want to do it, but Lizzie and I, we got it done so that the living room would be acceptable again, and we wouldn't have any more of those, you know, weird creatures coming through. And that was fine. But when there was the invasion of the giant monsters here in town, you know, the giant chocolate bunny hopping through, turning everyone to other chocolate creatures, you know, Leslie and I just sat back inside the building and just defended our home. And you know, what happens to the town happens to the town. So it's very like my ability to, to have fun. No, not have fun. We don't say that anymore. My ability <laughs> to engage with my enemies and destroy them is really limited to protecting my daughter. Really limited. I mean, at least until she's an adult, which, you know, that'll be any day now. Right. Feels like she's been 13 forever. I know. I did hear, though, I heard a rumor about there was a there was a, there's a how i wonder if this grandma has has any suggestions for good vacation things um i would love uh but because you know if somebody's old they probably have a lot of a lot of life experience but it's it's too much of an issue because she's she's in uh she, she's possessed by a demon right now so i can't really can't really get those vacation suggestions from her yet hmm Well, what about the bar, huh? Do you have an architect to fix my tavern? To redesign it so the second floor works well with the first floor and there's no extra dimensional space? Hmm. We would, we would have to, we might be, what, what do you What do you think, head of head of clerical studies? I think there was a architect in town, but canon, canonically, who might be able to help. Who, but we might find someone else and we'll have to do tasks for quest. I'm not very helpful. Sorry. I'll help, but I'm helpful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what? I think maybe... What if we get this architect thing done really quickly? Uh, head, of, head of clerical studies. We, we could do that, and then and then, then see about this. See if that opens up some other options for us. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Well, well, well. That that sounds like a plan. So as long as we've got a plan, yeah, yeah. That's uh, that that's good then. Yeah. If there's a plan. I didn't hear a plan. I don't. Oh, the Dickman Architect. We go Dickman Architect. They're in town. Oh, sorry. So the the plan was the this first step of every plan is to talk to the experts. Which would be an architect. We're not architects. Man, this is really complicated. Back in my day, I, if there was a problem, I'd just hit it, and then it would go away. Oh, if we hit bar, we die, so no. 
No. Well, how do you expect to build a bar? You got to hit it with a hammer. Well, no, they're constructing, not damaging. You can have constructive hitting. That's what my dad I'm always said to me. That's sad. I'm sorry, Desmond. Well, looks like I need to go take a breath of fresh air, he says, and walks down the alley away from you guys to get some more fresher air. Did, did he give us funding for a job? Because we can't hire architect without funding. Well, the way we're, we're, I mean, you'll bring the architect here, right? And then- Yeah, but Jasmine's gonna just keep walking away. Well, then we can just, we tell the architect that it's on the, I, I look, the issue of whether or not the, the we're, we're the we're the middleman here. The issue, uh, okay. right? Like okay. the, the the payments go between those two people, yeah. not between. Uh, yeah, them. I'm middleman for my god, Gepa, because Gepa gives me. Hey, hunt that, then I hunt it. But I'm them in the middle. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, I, I don't know which Dickman, because there's a Helga Dickman and Boris Dickman, but I don't know which one is good architect in this time period, because it changed. All right, I, I turn to the, I guess, the, the, what has the lady been doing? She's just... <laughs> She's kind of in the bar, tapping her foot, okay. waiting okay. for someone. Um, all right, so I guess we'll, we'll go up to, to the lady. Um, and, uh, oh. um, I'll say, uh, that was, that was a, a great suggestion that you said to, uh, go and, uh, talk to, to, to Desmond, but we still need to, uh, uh, kind of develop our, our plan for, for solving, solving this, this issue. So, um, we were going to go out and talk to more experts, specifically an architect to architect a solution to your problem. Uh huh. So we're 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 on it. We've got we've got top top people on this issue. You do. You've got you found top people to solve this problem. We are the top people who are going to find the top people. My confidence in you is waning. That's that that that's okay. That's okay. We'll we'll you stay right here and uh -huh. we will we'll uh we'll see about helping you with this issue. But if you do find other other contractors, feel uh feel this is not an exclusive arrangement, right? We're just uh uh So you're saying I should go find someone else to solve this problem because you are the I mean, you're talking with a kobold cleric, right? No, but you're being mean, mean. Sometimes That's reality is harsh, true. kid. I'm a cleric of a gepa. Sure you are, little buddy. I bet you hunt all the little rats, the, the smaller rats, the rats that are smaller than you. I, I hunted a wino. Sure you did. Yeah, uh -huh. did with help of a gepa. Uh-huh, I bet he was really difficult in that alley of his. Oh yeah, he was. He, he, he had big sharp teeth. Uh huh. Yep. Yep. She nods and gives uh, Riley the like. You see what I mean? Look. Mm. Do, do you have any any references, by the way? Uh, uh, my my head of clerical relations. Oh, my uncle is Glip Clop, but he dead. So mm. he, he can't be referenced anymore. That's that's well. What if, what if you do speak with, is there a way to talk to dead people, speak with them? I, I, I don't, that sort of cleric. That's a no. different cleric. You, mm -hmm. you want uh, like maybe the Rossi cleric or someone else. Okay, maybe I'll have to, I'm gonna put this on to do my to-do to -do well, list. The Lumber cleric, the Lumber might cleric have, could work too. Might have to do a background check on you later on, but you're, you're, you're pre preliminary. That's that's. This is why you're a contractor. We haven't gone through the background. What's yet. preliminary? What, what's that? Uh, it's before the liminary, right? That's why it's a pre. Uh, uh okay, 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 okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
woman is kind of just looking. Do I wait here? Should I go somewhere else? I should wait. Go. I should go some. Just looking at Riley, trying to judge the right reaction, the right course of action. You should. You can. You can. You can wait here. You can wait here, and uh, if you can find other other adventurers, um, that's okay. But we'll, we're gonna we're gonna talk to the architect first, and then we'll we'll be back here. Okay. I'm gonna since there's no bartender, I'm gonna go pour myself a drink pay for it and sit here until it's done and hopefully you'll be back before it's done and she looks around there's like still the pile of vomit from the one guy on the floor she looks back at you and goes I, I might drink it quickly though I was gonna clean that but now I'm doing quest yeah. and uh she goes behind the bar pours herself a drink, sits on the farthest side, closest to the front door where the most fresh air can possibly come through, and uh, sips it slowly while waiting for you guys to uh, consult with your peoples. Alright. I, 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 grab, I grab you and I go out the bar. The, the yeah, yeah. You guys off to the architecture firm? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Is it still Dickman this week? Or is it someone else this week? <laughs> we'll find out on the other side of our break. We'll be back shortly with a little more shenanigans. See you guys soon. Bye-bye.